this is a, a particularly strong makeup look, isn't it? Yeah. From Stargate Atlantis. That was tough. Yeah. I did not do my research um, when I said yes to that role. I didn't know what a wraith was. I didn't know anything about it. I hadn't seen the show. Um, and I just loved the role. I thought it was such an interesting role and so well written. Um, but I just didn't think twice and said yes. And and then um, it, the, the breakdown said, some prosthetics required. That's some. not some. That's, see, I was misled. That is That's not some. New face. That's an entire face. That's a wig. That's hands, gloves, teeth. Um, so leading up to the job, they asked me to go for a face cast and a teeth cast. And then they measured my eyes for contact lenses. And I went, oh, this is not good. This is going to uh, suck, I think is the word I would use. And then my first day, my call time was like 3.45 in the morning or something atrocious where, you know, Starbucks is not open. Um, and you are left to just stand for yourself really at that hour. And um, yeah, it was hard. And then I, I thought it was also really interesting how constricting it was, how constricting it felt. Um, but it also made me feel a little more uninhibited. So... Mm. It was a very, very good way to get into a character like that. Um, it definitely yeah. helps you get into the mindset of a character like that. So that part was cool. It was like part of the work was already done for me, which was sort of nice. But um, it's an isolating experience. You're in a different makeup trailer than the other actors. You're in the special effects makeup trailer. And so you don't really get to socialize or hang out. And then when you look that way, it's funny that no one really wants to talk to you, <laughs> you know, like they just sort of ignore you. I don't know. It's, it's, it's very strange. I know they don't mean to, but you know, you look really terrifying. Um, I suppose because it must be so random to just go up to someone who's dressed in full and be like, I guess so. Today? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, know. I mean, now I, when I see actors that are wearing stuff like that, I go up and say, are you okay? <laughs> Can are you breathe. doing okay thanks for doing this you know i know it really sucks and i know how tired you are and you're awesome thank you but i have immense respect for other actors for, for actors who do that for years and years i mean some people do it for seven years on a series which i cannot i cannot imagine i mean the reason why i didn't come back as as that character was because I couldn't handle it. I could, I just thought, I don't think I can do much more of this. And, and they said, okay, well, we'd love to have you back on the show. And luckily um, no one will recognize you. So um, maybe we could have you back as a completely different character. And I said, that would be fantastic. I would love that. And then, I don't know, eight months later or something, maybe a year, they called and, and offered me um, the role of the new doctor, which was that crazy. Was yeah. yeah. Crazy phone calls again. I went, well, yeah, that'll do. I'm Brad Wright. If you like that, check out the free trial membership on the Companion website. That's www.thecompanion.app.